everyone, Lisa here, aka Maggie Milo. I'm here with my Saturday stash dive. And um, you can see here, I've just pulled in those six by six paper pieces and I'm just cutting one and a quarter uh, circle punch. Um, you could do this with a one inch circle punch, but um, I just have my one and a quarter inch handy and it, it just, I don't know, it just it was a little bit of a bigger circle and I like that. And uh, this is some gold POW glitter paper, and I'm just going to do that again. So there's going to be a lot of a little bit of fast forwarding here just because it's kind of repetitive processing. So um, I'm just going to jump past this part. So basically, you guys um, had seen in the previous prep video uh, that I had a mood board. So this is kind of where those circles come in. Um, we're going to be making kind of a garland piece. Uh, with them and you just saw a second ago there I was inking up the edges in vintage photo I just wanted to kind of give a, a little bit more of a defined edge you certainly could skip this part if you wanted to but I just like the idea of uh, kind of making them a little bit more defined it's just an extra step and then I'm taking those circle pieces and I'm just hot gluing them between the seam binding and um, the seam binding just because it crinkles up, it uh, gives it a little bit of a more flowy look to it, a little bit of a more airiness to it. And uh, you could certainly use regular ribbon, you could use string, you could even um, punch hole, like just use your needle and thread and just string the um, circles through um, the string if, if that makes sense. Um, but that would give it a lighter look to it. Um, I have these all separated by color here and I'm just gonna kind of um, glue them down so there's gonna be one pink section and one blue section and one gold section and that's gonna be based off of that mood board and that's kind of where I was trying to explain things um, I had that mood board and I had that picture and it was the rainbow um, colored um, garland strip that was kind of my inspiration for this whole part and then um, I had um, also some a title uh, put on there. I also had some colors that I wanted to use. Uh, so the mood board is definitely a different twist for me. I'm not used to doing it, but I really like the idea of it. So um, I definitely recommend you guys giving it a try. And so here you can just see me um, gluing each of these pieces down. And this took a lot of hot glue. So if you're going to try this, I, I recommend that you have, make sure you have at least um, six glue sticks on hand. This one, I, prob I probably used four to five, um, possibly even six. Um, it does use a lot of hot glue. And um, you can see here, I'm just, I'm just going to keep going with uh, each of the layers. And I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have... Um, the same kind of pattern side by side. I do a couple times, but um, that's okay. Um, it was going to have probably happen anyway. But here I'm just, again, gluing it down. And in the end, I'm going to end up trimming off the ends and then sewing it down. Uh, this video was really short, so I just left all of this process part in here because because the video was so short, I just wanted you guys to kind of see the process of how this all came together. Now, this is not a normal layout for me. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. Um, I normally do a lot of layering, which this is layering, but it's on a different level. This is more of an artistic layering. And um, it was definitely very different for me. I don't know if I would do it in this um, dramatic scape again but I would definitely take the elements um, and use this as more like a garland across the page uh, and I think I would like that effect or maybe a little bit better um, but it is a definitely a different way to use your six by six paper pads so you can here see here I'm just gonna be cutting off these little ends and I did mention that I hot glue, or sorry, I sewed down um, the top strips just to add some stitching, and you're not going to see that on camera.
but I did um, take it over and stitch it down. The only thing you need to be careful of when you're stitching it down is because the hot glue is quite thick. Um, and if you make sure, if you don't wait until it's completely cooled off, um, the hot glue could stick to your needle. And so you just want to be very careful when you're sewing it down. Um, I did get a couple uh, little sticky spots with the glue that weren't completely dry and it was a little bit um, more problematic but it did end up sewing completely in the end and then here I'm just taking some of those uh, pieces and I'm just gonna glue them down to each other and to even um, the background cardstock I wanted to make sure that I left the very last circle on the bottom kind of a little bit looser. Um, I didn't want to tack that down because I wanted to give it um, a little bit of movement. And if I was to tack that down, that would kind of defeat the purpose of having the movement on this page. The other thing I think I would have done differently on this page is I think I would have maybe perhaps added some misting um, underneath each of those colors just to kind of um, make each of those colors blend a little bit more like spray a cream colored under the cream colored one spray a blue colored under the blue colored one and a pink and so on and so forth um, just to add a little bit more um, uh, dimension to the layout but in essence I I do like the way it turned out it's just a it's different than what I'm normally used to and I'm just getting rid of some of the the little webs from the hot glue and I did some prep work on my title work just because um, it would take quite a bit of time to um, put all uh, the title work together but basically I chose the three different alphas that I had pulled and it says impossible isn't something that can't be done it's just something that hasn't been done before and um, this is my brother and sister-in-law's, um, like, this is their one of their wedding photos that I took. And um, it's more or less my wish for them that, you know, um, marriage is a very difficult thing. And that uh, when they're having struggles, that they shouldn't think that it's impossible to get past, that it is possible. You just uh, maybe need to, um, you know, look at it with different eyes. That's more or less kind of not not so many words is what the the uh, uh, title work for this page is going from. And then here I'm taking this stamp set uh, and I'm taking the word that says today and I'm just taking it in the coordinating inks and I'm just um, stamping it on each of the circles. And so that way it gives the circles a little bit more definition, a little bit more interest uh, rather than them just being plain flat on the page. So um, here I, I cut out this and I was going to use this gold strip underneath the photo and I actually didn't end up using it at all. Um, but I was going to just add that as a layer underneath. It just felt like the picture needed to be grounded a little bit more just because there was a lot of title work going on on the left hand side of the page. So here I have some tags and these are from Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm and this blue one matches the color in those little um, circles. And then there's this one that's cream and it's got a little couple lines of pink on there and um, those go really well as well. I'm just inking them up with the vintage photo and um, I'm sorry I didn't zoom out here uh, I thought I had but didn't so um, when I zoom out you'll be able to see the full uh, layout so just laying everything down and then they're just looking at a couple other stickers that I could lay on but I just wanted to keep the colors very very to what is on the page. I didn't want to add in any other color because I just thought that would kind of throw things off. Um, so here I have some of the Studio Calico butterflies. These were are from Sassafras for Studio Calico and all of the colors in those butterflies match 
all of the color tones that I have. So I'm just going to ink up each of those butterflies with the vintage photo and uh, lay them on. So if you guys remember in my uh, previous video where I showed the prep and then the um, the mood board page that I had printed up, there was a picture of nails that had gold glitter on them. And then that's kind of where the gold pal glitter paper ca came from. I wanted to add elements of the gold into it. So there's not really a lot of gold going on anywhere else other than um, just on that pal glitter paper, but I just thought it would add a bit of a punch of gold. And that gold pal glitter paper is not overwhelmingly sparkly, so it does meld very nicely with uh, the rest of the paper. And I ran out of those little blue butterflies, so I actually ended up punching out of some scrap paper that I had. Um, I had used up all of the papers I had uh, punched out of so instead of using another 6x6 paper pad I just went into my stash and pulled a scrap piece and um, it matched the papers really quite well so um, I just used that for the butterflies and then I'm adding this little sticker I believe it says happiness And then I'm going back to the stamp set and seeing it just feels a little blank on this side. It just feels like it needs something um, to accentuate the height uh, because there's a lot of height in the title work on the left hand side. And I know it needs something on the right hand side to kind of bridge that gap between them. And I kind of went a little gung ho crazy on the mist on this side and I don't really care for how the mist work like the little splattering work did on this side, it doesn't, it didn't turn out as the way I had wanted to. Uh, but the left side of the, or the, sorry, the right side of the photo, this is the bokeh look that I was looking for. It's just a lot of gold splatters and then a little bit of some pink. I was just, I'm going to stamp, um, this says enjoy the journey. The reason why I was doing that is I wanted the gold um, mist to dry a little bit before I had added some other colors. So this is the ca uh, Cameo, I think it is, um, mist, and I added that in, and then I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and then I'm going to come in with um, Dewey, and then splatter that. And I really like how that put more of a bokeh look on the right-hand side. So uh, I wish I would have did not did the, the um, splattering or sprinkling of ink on the other side. But lesson learned, it still looks good nonetheless. It's just not the look that I was looking for. And I'm just journaling a little bit. I know it's weird to see me journal, but it was really small title works or journaling work, so I was okay to leave it in. And then I'm pulling in some of these um, Satan crystals and my mind's eye. Um, I think it's called bling or something or crystals or I don't remember. But anyway, they're old. They're from my stash from quite a while ago. Those ones from follow are from Follow Your Heart from My Mind's Eye, so really old. And then these ones, say it in crystals. Um, I'm not sure what collection they're from, but they're from Prima. And I've had those in my stash. Well, probably one of the very, very first studio calico kits is probably where I got it from. And then I'm just going to add it in each of the colors in different sections of the um the circles just so that it adds some more interest so here you're going to get to see the close-ups of the layout you can see just the different elements all kind of pulled in together And I really like the idea of this page. Looks really unique and different. And there's the bokeh side on that one part of the page. And again, I'm not really crazy about the misting that I did on the other side. 
So stay tuned for the still pictures, and thanks for watching another Saturday Stash Dive. See you next week. Bye.